Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to walk y'all through how I set up my guest bedroom slash office. So this is like the day after, or maybe the day I moved in and we just kind of just put everything <laughs> um, in the rooms that I knew that they were supposed to be in, but nothing is organized, nothing set up except for my desk. Um, but outside of that, everything is kind of a mess and that is what it looked like um, after I took stuff out of boxes and bags and now comes the process of putting everything up and honestly I'm not proud of how I put things up things are still honestly like they're still unorganized and not set up the way I completely want them things just look like presentable um, if you just look in the room, but if you look like in my closet or if you can see in the background, the shelves in the bathroom, like there's random things in there that don't belong in a bathroom because I still have to uh, organize everything. But I needed to do this process first just so that my mind can can think because like I can't I can't think with clutter. Y'all know that I, I just can't. So this is just putting everything up so I could like walk in the room and get ready to set up other things, which you'll see later in the video, like the bed and some shelves that I got. And all of this was filmed back in like August and September. So it's been quite a while um, since filming this. And like I said, my, my rooms still are not completely set up the way I want them to be. But I think that like decorating is a process and it does take a while to get things the way you want them to these are the boxes for the bed I got the bed and the mattress from Amazon um, and I built everything myself um, fun story uh, <laughs> I actually was not alone doing all this by myself there was someone in the living room um, who just let me do all this stuff by myself and struggle through it uh, but you know, it's fine. That person's not in my life anymore. Um, so it's fine. It's fine. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. <sighs> but yeah, um, even though I had to do it all by myself, um, it wasn't that hard. It could have gone by quicker if I had help, but I am a short person. I'm a petite person and I was able to put everything together. Um, you know, just have to follow the instructions um and nothing i don't remember anything about this being like super confusing um just go step by step until you're done and oh i've also created an amazon storefront so if you're interested in buying this bed please click the link in my bio or in the description uh box and you can go to my amazon storefront and buy it through there please and thank you. So when I was setting this up, I was struggling with like the layout because this room has to serve two purposes. It has to be my home office as well as a bedroom for whenever I have guests and I contemplated like which wall the bed should be on like should it be on the wall parallel to my desk but then I was like well when I'm on like video calls for work then they'll see a bed like a, a bed in the background and I wasn't sure if I wanted that but then I also wasn't sure if I had enough space um, to put it on the wall where the window was um, like I I don't know I went back and forth and I measured everything out multiple times, but I ended up putting it in that corner up against the wall. Okay, so this is my guest room slash office. This is how I was looking right now. It's kind of messy a little bit there's not too much stuff in here so it can't be that messy but definitely have things to do making the bed and building these two shelves um and then also in the bathroom let me turn on the lights so y'all can see
gotta install the shower curtains for that. Um, yep. And move these boxes and uh, the things that are over here, those are actually go on the shelves that I'm gonna build. And all of that has to happen within the next like 12 hours because my parents are coming to see me today. And my mom watches my videos, so mama just know that I'm over here performing miracles to get ready for y'all. So let's get to work. Okay, so that was, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to the footage of me building the rest of the bed and uh, unboxing the mattress. I can't find those clips. So that is why you should not <laughs> film stuff and then not edit it until months later because I don't know where that stuff is. So I'm sorry about that. But the bed is made, the mattress is on the bed and now I am doing the shelves. These shelves also came from Amazon and will be in the Amazon storefront. Um, they, I want to say that they were like 140 ish a piece, but I ended up buying them used in, like it said in good condition. And when I did that, they were like 50% off. So they were like 70 a piece. And I was like, well, I'll just take a chance and get them new or get them used. And they like, they look perfectly fine to me. Like I can't, see any damage on them like they were fine um so i suggest doing that more often if you need to save money uh trying to get something used versus new on amazon within reason right like don't get like used underwear or something <laughs> uh but the furniture was just fine and these were really really easy to put together again i'm a short person and i was able to put them together by myself um it's pretty simple just repeating the same thing over and over to create the individual shelves and you can see i already did one that's standing up and i'm doing the second one now and i actually bought a third one that is in my living room Funny story, <laughs> um, right here, that, that one that's on the wall, it, I didn't screw it into the wall because my friend has these shelves and she never screwed hers in the wall and it was fine. But when I didn't do that, the one in the living room, after I'd like decorated it and everything, it actually fell and landed, like stuff landed on my dad when he was visiting. So I, I wouldn't chance it. I would make sure you bolt them into the wall so that stuff doesn't fall on you. Um, so yeah, anyway, now moving on to the bed. If you saw in that clip, um, the bedding is from Target. Look at me stretching out, trying to make it. Goodness, short people problems. <laughs> but yeah, the, all the bedding is from Target. I cannot remember how much it cost, um, but this is like the Jersey t-shirt linen um not linen but bedding and it feels really really nice um my dad said that the bed slept really well like he thought the mattress was really nice and they thought that the bedding was nice too um so i do suggest this it can be expensive buying new bedding but this was pretty affordable as far as bedding as far as bedding goes Eventually, I want to put artwork above the bed because um, the wall is pretty blank right now. I just don't know what I want, but I do want to put artwork up. I still have to do all of that like throughout my entire apartment. Um, I don't have any artwork on any of the walls right now. Um, I have I put some shelves up in my bedroom, but I haven't hung any artwork or anything like that or photos or anything and I really I really need to get on that because I feel like I'm missing the finishing touch you know um, things that can like turn a house into a home or an apartment into a home um, so I really do need to get on the decorating but this video was really just to kind of show you how I set things up um, the type of items that I bought how I place them in the room, um, just so y'all can get a feel of how things will look when everything is complete. I would say I'm like 50% done 
decorating at this point, but I still have a long way to go. So now I'm trying to like stage the shelves. I will admit I'm not the best at this and it still needs work. I'm probably gonna redo the shelves at some point. Um, but yeah, just adding all my different books and I'll be adding some plants, candles, things like that. If you see, um, I'm also recording this on my phone. That's because I have been uploading on TikTok as well. And y'all, I'm like blowing up on TikTok. I have a video right now that has more than half a million views, like 600,000 views. And it was the walkthrough of my apartment before I had actually moved in. And people like loved it. And a week ago I had like 300 followers on TikTok and now I have like 8,000. So that is crazy. Y'all make sure you follow me over there. But anyway, that is the end of this video. And tell me if y'all like things like this and I can do more. I plan on doing more, showing y'all how I decorate my apartment. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Leave a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you next time. Bye.